Hey guys, just wanted to get on here and make a quick little video about Can-Am drive shafts and the different lengths. How to identify which one you actually need. So in general, there's we make about four different lengths of drive shafts. I only have three here in the shot. Uh, this one is for an XMR 1000 Outlander long chassis. It's got a large gearbox or 1000 gearbox. 21 spline, I believe, transmission yoke on this end. And uh, it's this is the same 21 spline yoke, but it's just got a, it's just longer in that measurement there. Moving on, we call this one in the middle here the intermediate shaft. So this is for any short chassis Gen 2 Can-Am with a smaller Gen 2 diff. Now, these shafts can be outfitted with either the 800 or small gearbox yoke, I believe it's a 19 spline, and that's versus that 21 spline there. Uh, or it can have either or, the 1000 or the 800 gearbox yoke on this intermediate shaft. And then, generally speaking, they're always gonna have the smaller 19 spline yoke for the smaller regular Gen 2 diff. And this is what we call our shorty. Um, these are for any short chassis bike with an XMR diff. Now, this one right now, it has the 1000 Franny spline on there. And it can have either the 800 or the 1000 spline, depending on engine size, of course, whether it's an 850 to a 1000. Uh, and 2015 and up Outlanders, no matter the engine size, always have this transmission yoke on it. So these here are standard shaft lengths. Like I was saying, they can come outfitted on the trans end with either the 800 or the 1000 trans yoke, depending on your unit. Um, this short shaft here, we sell lots of these. We started selling these for XMR conversion kits, and uh, this is the short length that we always use. Now, in the last couple couple years, run into an issue about five times now, where our standard length shaft is about three eighths to a quarter inch too short, and it wants to when you bolt it in, it wants to stretch that boot way out. And then if you force it, it'll pull the splines apart in the middle here. Um, we just recently ran in this again for maybe it's the sixth time. We sent a shaft out, a shorty shaft out to our buddy NOS ATV out there in Ontario. And they had a shaft come apart on them. So what we ended up doing is making them a shaft that is roughly three eighths of an inch longer. Now, every time we encountered this, it's usually been on a 2018 XMR Outlander 850. I believe this time it was on a 19 XMR 850 Outlander. But what I want from you guys is if anybody's ever run into this problem before where the standard short length shaft is just a little bit too short uh like i say i've only run into about four or five times maybe six times and i've yet to see one in person so hoping you guys can kind of help me figure this out um and let me know in the comments below have you guys ever run into this before um yeah and just i'd like to hear your feedback so Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.